And this could be a fun, interesting topic here. Today, they announced the odds for the Rookie of the Year awards. Now, we're just going to go through. uh, Hold on. Before we do this, Michael said, I'm going to have a WCE Murder Hornets t-shirt so it'll live on forever. Yes, we're, I'm, I swear to you, I am almost done designing this thing. Tyrone said, look it up. Ben said, bull sharks can swim up rivers. Joseph said, wow, the hat is off. And then Damien said, what the hell ever happened to Bigfoot? And look, Bigfoot's still out there. He's in Geico commercials now, or progressive commercials or whatever. People just don't care anymore. That's all it is. There's too My much. My daughter out. is fatuated with Bigfoot. <laughs> Michael said, Gary traded out the glass for whiskey and the Yeti. Nope, this is coffee, brother. It's been a long day. It's been a very long day. All right, back to the sports. And I know everybody that's in here right now is going to have something to say about this. So we have different odds, I think, because you told me an odd that you had, and I told you an odd that I have. It's different. Well, well, and so I'm, I'm looking at betonline.ag. I think they were all basically. I thought everybody today. was pulling from that, but this is from Sports Betting Dime where I found all these. Sports Betting Dime. Okay. So I, 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 I think know. everybody just kind of released at the same time and. And they're okay. being bet on. So, of course, they're going to be changing. That, that makes sense. So, let's, let's kind of dig into this and see what we've got going on. So, the, the best bet is Joe Burrow at plus 250. He is well, going to have his... It, it could be the worst bet. It, it's the lowest odds. Well, I, yes, the lowest odds. So, he is plus 250. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, plus 400. Is that what you've got as well? I've got... I've got him at plus 220, and Clyde at plus 500. See, I'd, I'd much rather take 500, but okay. Well, Can't, yeah, it depend, it, yeah, depending on who you're taking. You just uh, This is obviously it's, it's all shop over around. Man. Yeah, shop, shop around. around. But yeah. Cam Akers with the Rams is at plus 900, and Jonathan Taylor with the Colts is at plus 900 as well for me. Then this is betonline.ag, but there's obviously. Oh, mine around. are way different than that. All right, what have you got on those? What is okay? I've got a lot of people before that. I got Cam Aker or, or, or John the Taylor at a thousand, which is not different, not a whole lot different. Cam Akers at plus two thousand. Really? Yes, sir. Yeah, Bet Online has got him at plus nine hundred. Uh, Tua plus one thousand. Right after that, for me, is that where you've got Tua? Tua is at plus seven fifty. That's surprising. That's actually really low, like considering he's not even going to start the season. So. Yeah, it's a quarterback ward, though. I mean, all these other guys are going to get a lot of talk, but the last several have all just been quarterbacks. DeAndre Swift at plus 1,200 after that for me. It, and then I'll just I'll roll down a, a few more till we get to about plus 2,000. Uh, DeAndre Swift, CeeDee Lamb, J.K. Dobbins, Jerry Judy, Justin Herbert, Henry Ruggs, and then Keyshawn Vaughn. And then I'm, I'm not worried about anybody else after that for now. When we really dive into this and give our picks for the season – We'll we'll figure it out and see what the best long shot is, et cetera. Um, Michael jumps in and said, give me Judy. You know, you get Jerry Judy for me, that'd be plus 1,600. Eh, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know that he will get the ball enough to be a rookie of the year. So, let's. I'm going to look this up right now. What, who do you like in this so far? <laughs> I caught you on the spot, didn't I? I mean, probably I would go with. So I'm looking back at past winners. Actually, I was wrong. They're all running backs until last year was Murray and then Dak Prescott. But everybody before that and after that, between there, were all running backs. I, I would I would probably go with uh, like a J.K. Dobbins. I got him at plus twenty eight hundred on here, or a Jonathan Taylor at plus a thousand. Um, I. I think those two offensive lines are the two best offensive lines in football. I think those teams want to run the football more than everybody else wants to run the football. And I think wide receivers just won't get enough uh, volume to, to be in this. This is a running back and quarterback award. If you, if you go back and and look at just the the past winners, um, I I just did that. And it is, it is all running back. Odell Beckham in 2014 was the first, Wide receiver. Well, and since, since 09. Uh, Percy Harvin in 09 was also. I, I was just about to say, he was the, it was the only one until you get to 09. That's a, that's a long time ago. Yeah, 2003 was another wide receiver. That was Anquan Bolden. 
Uh, but yep. other than that, I mean, it's been at Randy Moss in '98 was it? So there's only been four since '98. Like yeah. that's crazy. So wide receiver, maybe not your best bet, but ton of running backs. The only quarterbacks were Ben Roethlisberger, Vince Young, Matt Ryan, Sam Bradford, Cam Newton, Robert Griffin, Dak, and Kyler Murray. No, it's, I mean it's a, it's a quarterback or running back award, in my opinion. Those are that's what it's going to be. Um, I don't think it'll be Tua just because I, I what you brought it up and the fact that he just won't play enough games. I don't think he's going to start for a while. Um, and uh, and so you can, you know, have a safe bet in Burrow. I do think he's the only quarterback that has a chance. Um, uh, Swift has really bad odds. They think Swift, I would not touch Swift or that Lions offense to save my life. Um and I think the Rams are probably going to share the football too much to get Cam Akers to love. Plus 2,800 for J.K. Dobbins, if he comes in and just takes that job, which we've seen rookies do all the time, yeah. then, you know, I, I don't I don't foresee why he can't be it and do it. Let's jump into the chat here really quickly. Jose said he would take Judy. Ben said Clyde is too high. Uh, Michael said J.K. Dobbins would be a good long shot bet. Damien said, I know somebody who isn't going to win it. <laughs> Jake Fromm. <laughs> no, correct. Correct. Uh, Michael correct. said, Dark Horse, K.J. Hamler, possible wide receiver and return guy. And let's see. Joseph said, shouldn't you be using the best live sports lines, SBRodd.com? Uh, look, yes, eventually, once we get there, man, golly. Uh, I don't. I didn't see it on the SBR site, so that's why we yeah, went with. I about to say we looked there first, and uh, and we looked I, I, with the uh, because they also represent a ton of these offshore books, which is why we went with one that they do represent. So, uh, Ben said, "Way to rep SBR." Damien said, "What about Minshew?" Well, Minshew is not a rookie this year. Yeah, so, this um, isn't the NFL, the NBA. Yeah, so that's that's the way it goes. Yeah, uh, it's it's interesting. To look at these odds and see exactly where people are thinking, you know, T. Higgins at plus 3,300, interesting. K.J. Hamler is plus 5,000. LaVisca Chenault, if, uh, if he can stay healthy, you know, you talk about Minshew. If Minshew can get the ball to LaVisca Chenault, then, yeah, there's, I mean, he's going to be maybe the best playmaker for the Jaguars next year. And I think they're going to use him all over the place. So that would be where you would go. Jalen Hurts is plus eight thousand. Donovan Peoples Jones is plus eight thousand. You know, KJ Hill, sixty six hundred. And there's there's a ton that you can look at and say, okay, you know, we we might could take a shot here. Uh, you know, I mean, Jacob Eason is plus ten thousand. If something happens to Philip Rivers, he's going to be next in line for the Colts. Yeah, but is he going to play enough games? That's a problem. The only rookie quarterbacks that do it start all sixteen. I mean, really, like, at, Minshew might have had a shot last year, maybe, but he didn't start. that's only because he, well, he didn't start, he did starting in game two because Foles got knocked out in game one, but then Foles came but back and lost, took the job from But him. he lost the job because Minshew wasn't good enough. Yeah. Minshew wasn't close as good as Kyler was, and I love Minshew. I love Gardner, but he just <laughs> wasn't as, he just wasn't nearly as good. Jose said, uh, Swift, truly, I'm a Broncos fan. And then Ben said, can an O-lineman get rookie of the year? No. There's no, there's no stats. Like, no. it would be great to, but this is a stat-driven award. That's why you only see running backs, quarterbacks. Like, the media just falls in love with them. So, if it yeah. was voted on by coaches or something like that, then yeah. yeah. But this is a media. More defensive players would win if it was voted on by coaches, probably, if I had to guess. Well, I mean, you've got offensive rookie of the year and then defensive rookie of the year. So well, okay, yeah. Defensive rookie of the years. We'll we'll talk about that maybe tomorrow. They give them their own category because because they'd never get it. Because they didn't used to. They didn't used to have two. They just used to have rookie of the year. They they still do the rookie of the year. It's it's a Pepsi award now. So oh. it's uh it is select. It was two thousand two through whatever. It was voted by fans uh, over at NFL dot com. Well, that doesn't matter then. And so you can, throw that, you can throw that in the garbage. I mean the well, I will say this. The only, well, I take that back. There are two defensive players ever that have won the overall rookie of the year. Yeah. Last year was Nick Bosa. Yep. And back in 2010, Indomitian Sue. So those are the only ones. Other than that, it's been 
running backs, quarterbacks, and one wide receiver, Keenan Allen, in 2013. So, yeah, stuff like that, it is what it is. Damien said, you would be shocked if Jordan Love wins it. I think everybody would be shocked if Jordan Love wins it. Uh, ben said, pancakes. Yeah, I know, pancakes are a good stat, but fans, fantasy football, stuff like that, they don't fall in love with it. Run, run, running backs and quarterbacks are going to win this thing. That's just yeah. it. If Burrow has a good season, there's nothing the running backs can do to beat him, Yeah. by the way. I mean, there's just not. Michael said, outside of my Broncos, I would probably take J.K., Really good team, so he'll get plenty of hype. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, they're I mean, going to be on TV a lot. They're going to run the hell out of the football. Oh, believe that. Believe that. All right. Uh, short show today, but I think that's okay. That's so, all right. Yeah, I think that's perfectly fine sometimes. It's the off-season. Come on, yeah, now. It's the off-season. We, we do. We come in here. We give you guys a little bit of entertainment, and that's what we strive to do every single day. Damien said, or Khalil Mack's brother, Ladarius Mack. That ain't gonna happen either. <laughs> it's, I'm going and I'm going to burst that bubble right now. So, all right, you guys know what to do. Go to the website. The best college football podcast post is up. Share it out. Tell your friends about it. Share the show out. Tell everybody you know that we are doing this damn thing every single day. Michael said thanks as usual. Thank you guys again. I'll tell you every day. We appreciate y'all for jumping into the chat. You drive the conversation. You help drive the story of how the show is going to go. And every day it gets better and better. So we do appreciate that. Go leave a nice review on the podcast. Share the show out. Share the website out. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.